Now we're going to go ahead and start using SketchUp. So go into the Start menu and type in SketchUp. You'll probably just have one that comes up. Select that one and get a window that looks like this. Um, it will give you different options to learn, and it'll also give you template. We're going to go to the template down here, and we are going to use the um, product design. So you'll have to you'll start up here, and you'll scroll down till it gets to product design uh, and woodworking in millimeters, and then go ahead and start using SketchUp. Now SketchUp will pop up onto the screen, and you'll get a view that looks like this. The um, you'll have the toolbar up here. Down here, uh, you'll see this area right here. This is key. We'll do some things with that. Um, but for an orientation, let's just go ahead and start using SketchUp. The first thing we want to do is let's draw a rectangle. So go up here, select the rectangle tool, and center it on the origin right here. You'll see that the dot turns yellow. And click and release. All right. When we use SketchUp, click and release is going to be an, a very common action, and that's used for a lot of different, a lot of different things. And the click and release now, without holding any buttons, I can adjust the size of my square. So see, sometimes it comes up here uh, with a dashed line in the middle, and that's showing me that it actually is a perfect square. Um, now, there's something else that I can do. I can just go ahead, when I'm like this and it can scroll back and forth, I can just go ahead and type in dimensions that I want. So I'm going to do 100, 100, um, and that will give me a square that's 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. All right. Now, the first thing we're going to do is learn how to zoom. And you can zoom with the scroll wheel on your mouse. So go ahead and zoom in. Now we've got a square. Um, I know that everybody here is waiting to get to three dimensions, because here we've started out two dimensions. Um, and this push-pull button right here will help us get to three dimensions really quickly. So go ahead and select that tool. And then um, we're going to hover over this, and we're going to push-pull. But before we do that, I'm going to move it down here so that we can see what's going on over here. Look down here at this bar. When I click and release, and then I start dragging, uh, it will tell me how far I'm pushing and pulling. Now, I can just go ahead and type in 100 to get a square of 100 millimeters. OK, so the, um, there is our first square. The next thing that we want to do is we want to turn this into a group. So the group keeps things together. If I start going ahead and adding to the square, um, it would kind of glue it together with the square. Um, but I want to do some things with the square so I can move them. So I'm going to select this arrow over here and triple click on the square. Right? So when I single click, it selects the face. When I double click, it selects the face and the surrounding edges. When I triple click, it selects the whole object. Then I'll right click and make it a group. We'll talk about components later, um, but now I, I have a group. The next thing I'm going to want to do is I want to make more of these. And there's a real simple and fast trick for making more of them. Right? And that is to go ahead and use this move tool and before I actually move, I'm going to hold down the control key. I'm going to hold down control, and then you see the little plus gets onto the icon. Right? I can hold, press control again, and it goes away. But I hold down control, plus gets on it. Now I'm going to copy it. I can click on it, and I have another one. Okay. So now I have another square. I click again. If I want to line this corner up, with this one right here, I go ahead and click and release on that corner, and I've got two squares together. Uh, next thing, I'm going to want to take another copy, so I press Control, and um, now I can get another copy. 
So you see here how pretty quickly we can go ahead and um, start um, building up the pieces and the blocks of our model. A couple things to keep in mind here, okay? So we have the, the different blocks. If I want to go ahead and pull out another block, I can select this arrow here to select different blocks. And then, so I want to get another block here, and then I'll press the Move key, and then Control, and then that will copy a block. If I want to line it up again, I'll click and release, and I can line it up there. Now, you'll notice this view where I'm navigating here and I'm looking around the model. This is done by pressing the scroll wheel of the mouse and dragging. So the scroll wheel, you see, is actually clicking this tool right here and allowing it to, to move around. The scroll is a key um, and essential navigation tool for, the, um, for SketchUp, and we can scroll around. The zoom, I'll just use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And then the last, um, the last key tool is this pan tool right here. And this allows me to go from side to side. So I can select the pan tool and go from side to side and then scroll by then uh, orbit. Then um, navigate around. Um, once you learn how to do this, I want you to show me that you uh, can do this. Next, um, go ahead and take the drawings that you made before, then and recreate those drawings in SketchUp. There is um, one drawing that has diagonal lines. You can skip that one.